Oh, stand there. We're entering through the flame belt of Venus. I gave away my old pair of fireproof knickers. My word. What has that madman done to it? Because greed has destroyed everything. The Conta is in trouble. We desperately need an emergency energy source. Colonel Dare, prepare your crew for a return trip to Mikanta. And I'll also pick up a pretty bouquet for him as a token of our love. The trouble is you military types are only happy when there's a war going on. I think the council members are off their collective chump. Mikanta control. This is a deliberate attack. What? The metallic hydrogen. Colonel Dare has intentionally tried to provoke a war. Oh! You monster! The invasion has begun. Let's do it. Now you will simply have to die. Bow to the mighty Econ. He is your provider. Your protector. Allegiance will be rewarded. Disloyalty will be severely punished. Bow to the mighty Mekon. He is your provider, your protector. Vandaya. Vandaya. Oh, St. Peter? Oh. No, this can't be heaven. I'm in too much pain. Shh, please, you must rest. You have been through a great ordeal. Where am I? In a monastery high in the Swiss Alps. I am Abbot Sorel. You have been with us for five days. My crew? Are they...? Your friends are recuperating. We found you after a portion of your ship crashed in our mountains. Yes. The trains. We were trying to hold them off. It's over. And after digging you out, we brought you all here. For which we're very grateful, Father. I know the risks you're taking. Yes, these are dark days indeed. How long has our ship been exposed? Since the snow shifted last night. I guess, Colonel, that it won't be too long before a train patrol catches a glimpse of her. What will we find out there, Father? Ugh, chaos. All personal freedoms have been curtailed. It is a brutal police state. Presided over by the Mekon's puppet, new Prime Minister Hamilton. And the Mekon? He rules from an impregnable fortress on the Martian moon Deimos, where he plots more planetary conquests. What is your report? Mighty Mekon, the alien space gate continues to feed Deimos with Earth's atmosphere. You stall with irrelevant news! I... I apologize, great leader. Sir Hubert is still missing. Incompetent! And what of Dan Dare? Patrols have spotted wreckage on a mountainside believed to be the rest of the Anastasia. We're searching for their remains as we speak. Good. I want them put on public display when you find them. Yes, mighty Mekon. Kind of you to say. Go! What have you found? Officer Dag, I have one. Clarify, you moron. Have one what? A problem. You wanted to know when I had one. Dare. Good to 
to clear the air, doesn't it? Prep this ship for immediate liftoff. Sorry, old Annie. Your service has been honourable to the very last. <laughs> Don't. Course heading, Colonel. If Earth is to be reclaimed, we must go to Demas and deal with the Mekon once and for all. Oh! Treens. They build everything backward. None taken. Sir Kirkwood. Good heavens! You nearly gave me heart failure! Where is Commander Bunch? Did he survive? Follow me. We've been hiding in an underground silo. We're entering Demos atmosphere! Look! One of those gates left behind by the dead space aliens. That's how he's supplying this barren moon with an atmosphere. He's sucking greenhouse gases from another location. My guess, it's from Earth where there's plenty to spare. A new Mekonta, created by Earth for the mighty Mekon. Dandere, a Treen warship is on an intercept course. Uh-oh, knows the secret password. Attention warship, this is Demos Patrol Terra 78. Identify yourself. Sonda, quickly. I am, this is warship XL5, returning from Earth. How was that? Top draw! You think they bought it? Stand by. We are coming aboard. It would seem not. What is your business? I am transporting these Earth scum to the Demos mines. The Sonda. to hit one of them, and I was quite ready. Next time, sweetheart, you can throw the first punch. Their ship systems and communications have been scuttled, Dandere. Very good. Now let's get to the surface before either they're found or we are. Sealing airlock and disconnecting from their docking port. And we're clear. for inspection. Flipping trains, they're such an ugly bunch. Oh, sorry, Sondra. None taken. Let's take him for a ride. It's no good. We can't shake him. <sighs> I stand corrected. So much for slipping in unnoticed. By now, every train on Demos will be looking for this ship. Hopefully, by the time they find it, we'll already be inside the Mekon's fortress. The Kingfisher? She's the flagship of the Resistance. And they don't even know it's here. Sir Hubert. 
relief to see you alive. And I could say the same to you, Commander. A spark of hope? If only Dan Dare were here to pilot her. Yes. I understand the Anastasia went down in flames over Geneva. It did. Reportedly, with all hands. But until it is confirmed, Colonel Dare might still be alive. And that too is a spark of hope. <laughs> They found us. Four deck cannons in position. Fire. Creation. Okay, team, let's pay our respects to the Mekon. Uh, excuse me, gents. <gasps> Anyone got change for a fiver? <laughs> Good lad. They probably wouldn't add change anyway. Chamber entrance is secure, Colonel. Copy. We're in position. I regret to inform the mighty Mekong that Dan Dare and his crew are alive. We are searching, but so far... You are not fit to rule an asteroid! Find him! Find Dan Dare! I'm right under your nose, Mekon! Force to leave Earth now. You do realize there is no way for you to escape this room alive. I strongly advise you to comply, Mekon. Empty threats. You are far too noble to kill me in cold blood. Perhaps so. However, one member of our party would very much enjoy a few minutes of your time alone, Sondar. <laughs> I say we step out on the terrace. I think they need some quality time. No! Wait! You have your wish. To all invasion forces, return at once. The occupation of Earth is terminated. So orders the Mekon. <laughs> They're in retreat! Hands up! On your knees! Now! Now! I accept your resignation. It is finished. And now, I am pleased to inform you, so is your world! <laughs> What have you done? <laughs> A defense satellite. It is now irreversibly plummeting to Earth. <gasps> no. 
It contains a metallic hydrogen power supply. <laughs> Indeed. Enough to crack your planet wide open. <laughs> and after a trip through the space gate, you'll be standing on it when it does. <laughs> <laughs> Justice, the Recon way. What do you mean, the satellite's plummeting? It has safety measures to prevent that. They've been deactivated, sir. I'm afraid there's no stopping it. Then we launch the Kingfisher and shoot it down. But the damage would be tremendous, even at that altitude. Nearly half the hemisphere would be vaporized. But half would be spared. If it hits the surface, no one would survive. I'll fly the mission myself. Auto navigation is set, mighty Mekon. Launch it now! situation. Sir Hubert! Good to hear your voice. I'm aware of the dilemma, and I believe I have a solution. Sit tight. I'll track your signal and pick you up immediately. We're at 10,000 feet. Dig, how much time left? Four minutes, 52 seconds until impact. Given the satellite's projected angle of entry, I've plotted its likely point of impact. Ready with those tow lines, Hank? Just get us within lasso distance and she's mine. Yeah, snared! Increasing forward thrust to 7,000 PSI. The beat is in motion. Drop altitude 30 degrees, vector 068. We've got two minutes to intercept that satellite. I, I, I don't think we can make it, sir. Why, Digby, that sounds like a dare. Lost one tow line. In the other ain't gonna hold. We're going to miss the intercept by two seconds anyway. It's no use. Throw risk to the wind, Dan. Wet crack it? Exactly. How's your aim? Dead on.
again. It seems old Mother Earth will still be around for a while. But I say that's pretty much the end of the Mekong. Think so? Mm, perhaps. But I wouldn't be too sure. I think it's wise we carry on our vigil. Because something tells me he's still out there. And no mistake.